So this morning it's like six degrees outside and today we're gonna try something I've been wanting to try since I've moved from the tropics back into the, a cold weather climate. And that is to grow a citrus fruit indoors using hydroponics. I lived in the tropics for about 13 years and I've become accustomed to some of the amazing flavors there just based on some of the local fruit that I've never actually seen here in the United States except for at specialty markets. And one of those is the calamansi. So I was able to go to homedepot.com and I was able to order a calamansi plant. Um, and I was a little skeptical when I first ordered this because I thought a plant coming in the mail would be interesting, but I got it and it's actually in pretty good shape. I got a little bug damage here, but that's because it sat on my counter for a while, but before I could actually get it to the hy hydroponic system. Today, we're gonna plant this calamansi in a deep water culture system. So this deep water culture system is basically an experiment. Um, I've looked online at a bunch of different systems and I'm just gonna try one out and see what happens. But today, what I'm gonna be using is, is I got a Today I got a 10 inch net bucket. I got this tote from a big box store. Uh, I think it was nine bucks. And we're gonna build us a deep water culture system out of it. So this grown is designed to be sitting in a five gallon bucket. So I'm going to cut a hole in the top of the tote. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole in the dead center of this tote lid. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, and since I know the bucket's five, or 11 and a quarter inches, so I'm going to measure out five and one eighth. After many tries of screwing that up, I'm going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole in here a couple places. Skill saw, we're gonna cut it, cut this out. It's not perfect, but it'll do. So then we need to drill a couple holes for airlines. I'm gonna drill a couple holes here for airlines. All right, so I got this air pump at a hydroponic store. It was a pretty sweet deal. It was like they were giving like 50% off. I think they're going out of business, but um, it was like six bucks. So that'll work. All right, now I want to drill a hole to where I can access the water for sampling. And, um, and when I'm cutting this hole, I'm going to cutting this hole in reverse direction. Booyah. My audio went out here, so I got to wing this from the computer here. But basically, I just added a couple inches of clay pebbles into the bottom of the net cup. There was nothing scientific. I was just totally winging this. And then I filled it up with water until I started seeing the clay pebbles actually start to float. Put the plant in and pack the rest in with cocoa. All right, so I got it all cleaned up now, and I'm going to start. I'm going to add the nutrient solution and the pH balance. I'm using. So for nutrient solutions, I'm going to use the general hydroponics part two part nutrient solution, part A and part B. Uh, so I'm going to go to two two part A to one part B for the initial growth. And how I actually track this is I use this chemistry tracking worksheet where I'm. I'm monitoring daily pH, um, electrical conductivity, total dissolved solids, and temperature, although the temperature probe on my pH meter is no longer working, so it's not, the water is not 185 degrees. So, um, I have, this is a 17 gallon tank. I'm estimating about 15 gallons of actual water. So I'm gonna add 10 milliliter 
for every gallon of part A, five milliliter for every gallon of part B, and then I will let it let the air stones mix the water up. And once after about two hours, I'll come back and I'll check it to see what my electrical conductivity is, decide whether I want to add more or less later. So 10 times 15 is 150 milliliters. I'm going to document this on my chemistry tracking worksheet. 150 milliliters of part A, 75 milliliters of part No good rule of thumb for pH because, so I'm going to add some pH down. My water does come from a well, so it's pretty hard. I'm going to add 50 milliliters starting off to see where I'm at and then make adjustments as necessary. I'm shooting for a pH range between 0.5, or excuse me, 5.5 and 6.0. So there we go. So in the next video, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be showing how I install a grow light so I can vary the height. I want that grow light starting off right about here. And then I'm going to have it on a really cool gizmo to make it go up and down so I can actually control the amount of light. I'm going to be doing updates on this citrus plant throughout the year, throughout the winter. It is currently November 3rd. If you don't think this is going to work, if you think this was stupid, if you think there's a better idea that I can do, please comment below. The whole purpose of me is not to pretend I'm an expert, but try to attempt to learn some best practices, with, with some best practices for hydroponics. Please like and subscribe below. See you later.